to move on, you know, let it go, stop it. <laughs> Besides, Rachel's going out with Elizabeth's father, so uh, he's much older than she is. Looks like I'm not the only one interested in fossils, huh? <laughs> does is remind us that you are interested in fossils. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, Rachel's going to need to yell sweet nothings in his ear. Huh? Oh, come on, you guys, that's funny, you know, because he's going to need, he's got like a hearing aid, you know, because cause, cause he's all old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, before I met you, I had really little life, and I couldn't imagine growing old with... Oh, my God. I know, but just let me say it. Oh, my God, Richard. What? I'm Chandler. <laughs> oh, that's Richard. <laughs> oh, God, maybe he won't see us. Richard! <laughs> hey. Monica, Chandler. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know why I did that. Hey, it's good to see you. You too. You let uh, your hair grow long. Yeah, oh, well, that's right. You, you always wanted me to. Uh, <laughs> I see you got your mustache back. Well, my nose got lonely. <laughs> and uh, you don't have a mustache, which is good. <laughs> I'm Chandler. I make jokes when I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Lisa, <laughs> Monica, Chandler, we used to date. Richard... No one's supposed to know about us. <laughs> so I did it again. <laughs> Chandler, what, what, why don't we sit down? Yeah, I'll sit down. It's good to see you. Your table's ready, sir. Oh, good to see you guys. Yes. Or if you prefer, this table's available. That might be fun. <laughs> Just so you know, since Lizzie likes you so much, decided to accept the fact that you're going out with her. Really? That, okay, that's great. Yeah. But then I changed my mind. <laughs> Funny like that. <laughs> so I told Lizzie, now I'm telling you, I don't want you seeing my daughter anymore. All right, look, I, I realize it upsets you. Yes, it does. <laughs> but... Elizabeth and I are, are both adults, and so I don't think there's really anything you can do about it. I'll call the university and tell them about your relationship and have you fired. Oh, a man with a plan! <laughs> so it seemed that my prom date had stood me up, so Ross selflessly <laughs> offered to take me. What a nice story. Oh. <laughs> so Ross was in college and decided to jump at the chance to take a young girl to her high school prom. I definitely did not see that one backfiring. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Yeah, take your time. <clears throat> you know, ju just so you know, I was a freshman and she was a senior, so it wasn't as bad as... Well, as... Look, I know I've been giving you a lot of jabs, and it's partly because I'm very protective of Lizzie, and partly because, well, they just keep coming to me. <laughs> But I have to admit that after all the wonderful things Lizzie has told me and the many, many, many stories that Rachel has told me that, well, you're not all bad. <laughs> not all bad. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm sorry I was so harsh before, but you have to understand, I still look at Lizzie like she's a 12-year-old girl. Yeah, you know what? I know what you mean. I do that, too. I beg your pardon? No, no, I'm not. I don't mean I, I see her as a 12-year-old girl. I mean, I, I have a son who's um, six, and I still think of him as a baby. You have a son? Yeah, well, my, my ex-wife and I uh, share custody of Ben, and, um, uh, and just so you know, Carol and I are on excellent terms, as I'm sure you are, with your wife. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just didn't realize you were married. Oh, we were, but that was just a... I mean, that was just a big, drunken mistake. 
You're back. <laughs> you two were married. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. You were talking about Emily. <laughs> about the fact that the underwear out there on the telephone pole is yours from when you were having sex with fun Bobby out on the terrace? What? <laughs> You are dead meat. I didn't know it was a big secret. <laughs> no, it's not big. Not at all. You know, kind of the same lines as, say, oh, I don't know, having a third nipple. <gasps> you have a third nipple? <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> whip it out, whip it out. Yeah, yeah. To see it's just a tiny bump it's totally useless oh as, as opposed to your other multifunctional nipples <laughs> i can't believe you you told me it was a nubbin <laughs> joey what do you think a nubbin was i don't know you see something you hear a word i thought that's what it was <laughs> Because you're a neat guy. <laughs> you are the man. You are the man. <laughs> Still got it. Still sexy. You're just a love machine. I'm just a love machine. Don't look at it, but you have baby. If I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. All right, all right, all right, all right. I was young and I just wanted a job, okay? But at the last minute, I couldn't go through with it. So they let me be the guy who comes in to fix the copier, but can't because there's people having sex on it. That is wild. <laughs> so what's it shaped like? Yeah, is there a hair on it? What happens if you flick it? see each other anymore. <laughs> Ross, you and I are going to have to have a little talk. Daddy, uh, You're next. Okay. I didn't know he was here. <laughs> Just see if I got this straight. I tell you to stay away from my daughter or I'll have you fired. What you heard was, take my daughter, come up to my country house and ruin my weekend with Rachel. Okay, please, please, Paul, just let me explain. No, let me explain. Fired! Okay, okay, fine, fine. Have me fired. But, uh, I want you to know that you and I are, are not all that different. I mean, I, too, am a neat guy. <laughs> I, too, am just a love machine. Ross, 
Let me show you where the guest room is. 